welcome or welcome back to my channel and the vlogs. My name is Jordan. If you're new around here, I live in Los Angeles. And as of today, I am 37 weeks pregnant. I am fully baked, which means she could really come at any minute now. And I will be honest, on Thursday, I had a little bit of a breakdown just thinking that I was going into labor. I had a lot of symptoms that Google, stop Googling, we have to stop Googling, but Google told me that within 24 to 48 hours, I may go into labor because I had pain down here. I had chills and some flu-like symptoms. I was nauseous. I just felt unwell. Like I think as women, we're so in touch with our bodies and we just know when something's off. And I really was like, oh my God, she's coming and I'm not ready. And I don't think I'll ever be ready. I don't think anyone's ever ready, but there are just a few things that I really wanna get done that I just need like a few more days for, you know? So look, if she comes, we're excited, we are ready. My husband's like, we have everything we need, don't stress, but I do want to just finish up the nursery. It will be done by the end of today. I have two more things to hang today. The lounger glider chair is coming today. Um, we did some other updates in our own bedroom. That little episode really put a fire under my butt. So for that, I'm grateful. Today, I have a lot to get done. I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's. I just have to do a small grocery shop. I'm out of like all my smoothie ingredients. And that is the one thing every single day that I have to have to like feel really good about myself and just like feel good in my body. And then I'm gonna go to Home Goods. I need to write a bunch of thank you cards. I've got a tie-dye, some baby onesies. That's the baby gift I always give to my friends. And I have a lot of pregnant friends right now. I don't think it's the smartest idea to go to Trader Joe's at 9.30 on a Saturday morning. They just have the best deals. If you don't know this, it is the best place to get dog toys. I'm just gonna do a mini haul. I got a few things that are just for fun because we're craving them. I've been obsessed with these puffins again. I got granola for Alex. These are my newest obsession. Oh my God, why are they so freaking good? They're also dyed like naturally, which I love. So all in all, not the worst choice, but I got those and I got some chocolate because um, I'm gonna be making stuffed dates. So I got these to put on the dates. This is freeze dried berries and then the pitted medjool dates. Spinach for smoothies, a zucchini bananas and then this greek yogurt dip really i'm not interested in veggies right now but this dip is so good and it helps as soon as i put everything away i'm gonna go tie-dye all the boy onesies i let them sit for like five hours before i rinse them so if i put them in now i'll be able to rinse them in the afternoon been cruising through my to-do list. I'm very grateful. It's so nice outside. That's why I look like half naked. Although it's funny because not in pregnancy, I would of course wear a sports bra with a skirt. I just feel like I'm very much out. But here is the 37 week bump. The fact that this is like this big right now is so wild to me because I feel like in the last month, I've just really popped and now it feels like I'm gonna explode, but it's all good. We just took my 37 week Polaroid. We do this every Saturday for the most part. And I just think it's so wild. Like I could not recommend doing this more. It's fascinating to see I feel like I didn't really change much from 18 to like 23. It wasn't really until 26 or 27 that I started to have this belly. And like I said earlier today, this past month has been like, oh my gosh, the difference. It's so crazy. Like women's bodies are amazing. Also, they delivered the lounger. I love her. Oh my God, she's so pretty. It's definitely a light color, but we went with this performance fabric, so we should be good. It's from Room and Board. It's their glider chair. I can link it, but 
It was recommended to me by my best friend and I think it looks so good in here. Please ignore <laughs> the rest of this mess. Okay, I'm gonna pack my hospital bag just so that I can get all this stuff off the ground. So I'll quickly run you through it. I have a whole like Instagram, TikTok post on it. So I'll link that below with like links to everything I'm putting in here, but here are the essentials. So flip flops for shower shoes, you know, you're gonna be using the hospital shower. Don't really wanna have your bare feet on there. I have my toiletries. I've got like nipple cream in here, deodorant and just basic skincare. I also may just get face wipes because that's like one step easy. I've got postpartum care items. So nipple covers for breast after breastfeeding. I've got these cold pads from Freedom Mom that are supposed to be really good for relieving pain down there. So you cleanse with a peri bottle, but there's that. I've got regular pads here. I've got the baby's going home outfit. I've got a black button down nightgown. I mentioned this in my other vlog, but everyone says this is great for breastfeeding, which I'm going to try to do. I really want to be able to do that. I also have nursing bras. I have two nursing bras from Hatch, um, as well as high-waisted underwear also highly recommended. Um, I'm ordering disposable underwear too. All black clothing, my mom recommended that. She was like, you don't want to ruin anything you have or get a color of something and then ruin that. So that's why we're keeping it all black. I also have black sweats. Um, I got these from Amazon. Sweatpants and a zip up sweatshirt. I'm also going to go to the hospital in this just to keep it easy. So it's actually not going in the bag. For baby, I've got a couple onesies and I've also got a couple of PJs, also got a swaddle, a blanket, and a burp cloth. I just like really don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like you can never be too prepared. This is her little going home outfit. I've got mittens and socks for her, as well as an extra hat. For me, I'm packing cozy socks, regular socks, perineal spray, also postpartum care, my toothbrush, very important. Other than that, I'm bringing a portable white noise machine that I have charging in the other room, my charging cords, um, this camera, my laptop. And other than that, I think we're good to go. Okay, this is like the staging room right now. <laughs> Not great, but hopefully by the end of tomorrow, all of this will be unboxed. For the bassinet, I got the Halo Swivel Sleeper. Um, people said really good things about this one and I like that it moves so it can go like over the bed. I also really like the price point and I got it on sale, I believe for 20% off a few weeks ago. You know what, I built about half of it and I'm gonna call it. I need to go rinse my tie dye. I wanted to do a really quick like prenatal breathing workout. It's not really a workout, just like push prep and shower and then Alex and I will make dinner later have a nice calm night in because tomorrow we have a date night for dinner Alex made these chicken thighs they're so good it's like a tomato and onion kind of thing I'll link the recipe below we've had it like four times and then air fried potatoes and a salad with greens from our garden borsan tomato radish and green goddess and then I've got my Zevia. Good morning, it is now Sunday, March 10th, and I am getting ready to go watch Alex in a volleyball tournament kind of near Malibu. I am so exhausted. It was daylight savings last night, which is whatever, but I was actually up like all night um, with pain in my foot because I got stung by a bee on Friday and it didn't hurt me. Like it hurt for five minutes and then it went away. And then yesterday, evening it came back with a freaking vengeance and i've gotten stung before and it's been fine this was next level i did some googling when i was awake at three in the morning and i guess when you get stung when you're pregnant your immune system is weaker so it handles the pain differently my foot was burning it was awful so i didn't really sleep much and i do have a lot that i want to get done today i have to shoot two videos one is a brand deal and one is just for myself for my content this week um so after i go watch alex i'm gonna come back and do that i'm just putting on some sunscreen also if you are pregnant or will be at any time just know that you are more likely to get sunburnt i have hyperpigmentation now 
on my forehead. I haven't been great about wearing sunscreen pretty much all winter and like because I was just home, I wasn't going in to an office or anything. I really didn't put on my usual tinted moisturizer and stuff. And I really think that I just got sun damage, which I've never gotten before. And also like the sun isn't that strong in the winter, but honestly, I should know better. In any case, when you're pregnant, I guess you're more susceptible to burns. So anyway, putting on my SPF and just getting a little bit ready so that when I come home, I can just shoot my content. I'm gonna go to coffee with my friend Grace. And tonight we have our last like real date night. Sidebar, I have been using this mascara from Swede. It's a company in Europe and I guess they're actually on free people too, but this is their cloud mascara. And then I also tried their pro lash lift mascara. These are so good. I believe this is like fully clean and everything non-toxic and I just think it looks so pretty and it actually separates your lashes, it doesn't clump them. Alex's volleyball tournament for a lot longer than I thought and then I went straight to coffee with my friend Grace. I didn't film it because my phone was dying but we went to Eyes Peeled which I've been to before in the vlogs. It's one of my favorites. And then I shot these stuff dates for an Instagram and TikTok. I did stuff dates three ways. Goat cheese with walnut, chocolate granola butter with coconut, and then PB&J so peanut butter and freeze-dried fruit. They're so good, I've already eaten three. So I'm gonna put these away and then honestly call it a day. I'm so tired. I'm not gonna be able to shoot my second video, but that's fine. I am gonna show you the tie dye that came out from yesterday. It looks perfect. And then we're gonna rest before we go on our date. These are all the onesies I made this weekend. They're so freaking cute. I think the colors turned out perfectly this time. Sometimes it's like hit or miss, but I love them. I do sell these if anyone is curious on Etsy, but they're just like the perfect baby gift. One more update in our bedroom. We hung these shelves. The shelves are from Amazon and then I always get our prints from Artifact Uprising. So I mix those with some coffee table books and the plant and I think it looks so freaking cute. I have to just figure out what I'm gonna do on the dresser. All right, we're going on our date night. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're bumping. We're bumping. We're going to Hatchet Hall in Culver City. I'll show you some of the food and then I will close out this vlog. So see you next time. Mm -hmm.